Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Analytics 4 with the Next.js site. I recently migrated my personal site over to Next.js and I found that some of the documentation around the brand new Google Analytics 4 integrations, especially with Next.js, are possibly a little bit incorrect. So let me show you the way I got it working. First off, if you prefer reading this tutorial, I have an article on bradgarrapy.com that I'll link in the description below. Otherwise, we're going to use my next starter site to, to demo this integration. So we're first going to start off at analytics.google.com. If you click this admin tab in the bottom left, this is what's going to allow us to create a brand new Google Analytics for property. This is in contrast to the previous universal analytics properties that you probably already have. So we'll be creating a brand new one. We'll click create property, given a name. I'll just call this BG codes. There's more options and stuff, but for now we're just going to skip over. Uh, we have to fill in some information about the business. I'm just going to fill in some fake data and say, create this property. Now that the property is created, we need to tell Google Analytics where we're going to be gathering this data from. In our case, this is a website. We'll pick web, and this means we have to give it a URL. We'll go with bgcodes.com. Again, this is all fake, and I'll just say web stream. This is going to ask you about what you want to measure. I just left this all at the default and clicked create stream. Now here, this is very important. You're going to want to copy and paste this measurement ID because we're going to be using it uh, over in our Next.js application to uniquely identify our website. So let's go ahead and pop into Next.js. Now, one important thing that you need to understand about analytics is that it should be running on every page uh, so that you get that data from every page. So in Next.js, where you would put that is in your custom app.ts or app.js file. In this case, I already have a custom app.tsx file, which does some SEO stuff and renders out a component. But we're going to want to put S, uh, we're going to want to put Google Analytics right here as well. So in order to integrate Google Analytics with Next, you've got two things you have to do. First off, you have to download the G tag script. So we're going to do this with the Next.js script component. And this is going to auto import from script from Next script. And this is just how you get third party scripts into your Next.js application. Uh, we're going to want to give it a source. And the source, I'm going to copy and paste this from something off screen. will be this. You're going to pull from Google Tag Manager.com the G tag script, and you're going to want to give it your ID. And this ID is your measurement ID from the previous screen. So we'll pop over here. We'll copy our measurement ID, go back to, uh, to Next.js, then insert that there. And the one other thing that we have to do is we have to give this a strategy. We don't want the loading of our analytics script to block the loading of our page. That would give a bad customer experience only to gather additional data from them. So we want to use a strategy called after interactive. That's going to say, wait until the entire page is loaded. And once it becomes interactive, all the JS is finished loading and parsing, then you can load this analytics script. Now, the next thing we have to do and this one's a longer one, so I'm just going to copy and paste it is let's bump this up so we can see it better. Add one more script tag, same strategy after interactive, but in this case, this is going to run a little, uh, a little like starter script for us. And here we'll just put in our, put in our measurement ID right there. So this is going to run like a little initialization script, initializing the window dot data layer. And that's where Google analytics runs off of. So with those two script tags, it should be enough to get us up and running. So let's go back to our site. We will refresh and everything looks fine. So in order to test that this works, we should look at a couple things. One, we'll go to the network tab 
and we'll look for a call to G tag. And you can see here, we pull this endpoint called JS from googletagmanager.com, G tag with the ID that we provided. Perfect. So we're now getting the G tag script. The second thing to look for is to make sure that initialization ran. We can do that by checking the window.data layer property. And here it is. It's got some arguments and look, it looks like some stuff about Google Analytics and here's our measurement ID. So this is perfect. Um, now the last thing we need to test is that it respects route navigation or client side navigation in our next JS app. So I'm on the home page. Let's go to the about page. We're now on the about page. And if I check the data layer again, we'll see that indeed we have a GTM history change event. And this history changed from the old URL, which was localhost 3000 over to the new URL, localhost 3000 slash about. So Google analytics is now aware of our client side route changes. Now, if you think this is maybe a little clunky, I created a custom package that just does this setup for you. And all you have to worry about is your measurement ID. So if we get rid of all these script tags and we get rid of script from next script, we can actually, uh, I guess we'll do an NPM install first. So we can ins install that package and the terminal is frozen. Okay. Uh, this package is called Brad Garropy slash next Google analytics. And we'll import Google analytics, which is the name of the component from at Brad Garropy next Google analytics. And now instead of writing all those script tags, all you have to do is say Google analytics and give it your measurement ID, which in this case was, we need to go grab that from Google again right here. And now just by installing that component and restarting our dev server, we should have the exact same behavior and you don't have to worry about setting this up anymore. So we'll double check this. We'll refresh. We're on the about page. We have a data layer. And if we go back home, the data layer has now updated with the new routes and everything is functioning as it was before with the simple component that I created for y'all. So thanks so much for watching this video. If it helps you understand how to integrate Google Analytics 4 with Next.js, feel free to like, like, or subscribe. I do a lot of web dev videos on this channel. So this has been BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.